you know, some days I like playing the mad scientist. I think that's what I'm doing today. I'm trying to come up with a better way to clean in some of these CIS fuel injectors, particularly on those cars that have been sitting a long time. You know, sometimes if they've been sitting a long time, they have old fuel in the injector themselves. Getting the pressure tester and pumping through with cleaner does not always get them clean. And so what I did the other day was I cut one of these apart. I took a CIS injector out of, a, I don't know, an old V8 or even an early M103 engine, and I cut this thing open so I could see just how it was manufactured inside. And I want to show you what I found. And what I found is causing me to rethink a little bit of the cleaning procedure, particularly on the older injectors that have not been run in a long time. Maybe you've picked up an old SL or you've picked up an old 190E or 300E. It's been parked for a long time. Maybe it doesn't have a lot of runtime in the last six months, a year, whatever. That's when you're going to have some real problems getting those fuel injectors clean and spraying properly using this bench tester here. So let me show you what I'm working on. The principle is to try to figure out a way to back flush them. And that's what I've set up here, a little bit of test going on. I also want to show you what I found inside the injector when I cut this one in half. Okay, if you look here, you can see where I cut it. I put it up in the lathe and cut right through the center of it. And look what I found. Look at that red piece right here. <laughs> you know, here's the tip. You can get an idea how the tip works. There's no seal in the tip. That's just metal to metal. But look at this right here. You know what that is? That's a super fine plastic screen. That's a filter sitting right down inside this injector just before the fuel gets to the tip. So imagine what happens when you have old fuel sitting in these injectors and it starts to varnish up or you've been running dirty fuel and it starts to kind of plug up this screen. This is a super fine screen, by the way. So the idea is, how are you going to clean the screen if all the junk is on this side and you're trying to force cleaner this way? So what I want to do is figure out how I can push the cleaner back. In other words, back flush through the filter so it's forcing all the crud out this end of the fuel injector. So that's what I'm working on right now. Now what I've got here are four very old fuel injectors. They've been sitting around the shop here for probably five to ten years. And what I've done is put this special hose on them. I've also opened up the tips with a little special plastic device I've come up with. And I filled each one of these tubes with diesel fuel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the rate that the fuel leaks through the injector backwards through the filter and into this little two ounce container. I'm going to come back here in about, let's say, an hour and we'll take another look at this. And what I want to demonstrate is how we'll see the fuel flow through these filters will be different between these four injectors here. I came back after an hour and did not see much leak down at all in these. So I left it a little bit longer. Now it's been two hours. And if you look at this one, this one's come down close to a quarter of an inch. This one over here about an eighth of an inch, 16th to an eighth. And these two here have not leaked down at all. I even tipped them to the side to make sure they weren't plugging up down in the diesel fuel in the bottom of this container. So I understand diesel is a higher viscosity than gasoline, but I wanted to use a thicker viscosity fuel to just see how well these injectors will leak down before we do any cleaning. So I'm going to go ahead now and let this sit overnight. <laughs> and I'll come back tomorrow and we'll take another look at this to see if we get any further leak down, we can see any inconsistencies between these four fuel injectors. Yesterday I came back here and took a look at these. I had one that completely drained down, but I had three more that were only coming down just a very little. This one's down like a little over an eighth of an inch. This one's down about a quarter of an inch. This one here was almost full. So what I did is I poured out the diesel fuel and I took an injector cleaner and poured in there. Now it's been sitting for 12 hours and look, it's come down about half an inch. So these aren't draining as fast as I would like. And I'm still experimenting 
with trying to find the right chemical that I can put in here and just let it eat away at the crud in this little screen to see if I can get it to backflow on its own. Let me show you the next cleaner I'm going to attempt to use. This red stuff is just a name brand fuel injector cleaner that you add to the gas tank. You can see here that I had some success with that, but what I want to try next is diesel purge. Now I know this is one super strong chemical when it goes to cleaning diesel fuel injectors and diesel fuel injection pumps. So I'm going to take a little bit of diesel purge now. I'm going to take this one here that's the fullest here and I'm going to just pour out the diesel. And let's go ahead and put a little bit of purge in there. You know, this is where these love these curved tip syringes, you know. <laughs> How would you get that poured out into that little hose on the end of that injector? Okay, let's come over here now and I'm going to fill this to the top. Okay, there you go. So now I'm going to let this sit overnight. We'll come back and report tomorrow what's going on. We have fuel injector cleaner here, diesel purge here, and these two still have diesel fuel in them. Let's see what this diesel purge will do. It appears this last test has proven to me that diesel purge may be the best cleaner for cleaning out these little filters in these old CIS fuel injectors. Now you notice over here, the diesel purge is completely empty over last night, and I've still got some of the fuel injection cleaner in this one, and of course these two over here with diesel, one has come down about a half an inch, this one has only come down a little over an eighth of an inch. So I'm not getting much drain through with diesel fuel, but it looks like diesel purge, it flowed right through there overnight. And now the next step is to figure out how to pump back flush these injectors. Probably I'll have to use some hose clamps because I don't want these popping off, but I don't think I need to use a lot of pressure. Remember, these injectors operate under 100 PSI, so even if I use 15 to 20 PSI of pressure and pump fluid back through the other way to back flush these injectors, I think I will be okay. So I'm going to set up the pump and I'm going to play around with back flushing now under pressure.